So in 3 is a dark matter detector which uh, uses xenon as a detective medium. So xenon is usually a gas in atmospheric temperatures and pressures. Um, so what we do is cool it to liquid. Um, so inside the detector there's a liquid and gas uh, vessel. Um, the gas is cooled by liquid nitrogen. So there's also a liquid nitrogen vessel inside the detector that's all surrounded by um, a big copper tank which uh, we create a vacuum inside which we use for thermal insulation. So the idea is that a dark matter particle uh, comes along and interacts with an atom of xenon. Um, within that interaction you have a flash of light. You also have some ionisation created and we drift the charge in, uh, created there in a high electric field from the liquid into the gas phase and where we get another signal. It's the uh, difference of these two signals that we use as a discriminator to see what type of particle has caused the interaction. So what it does, like all other dark matter detectors, what it's trying to do, it, it doesn't detect the dark matter particle itself, it detects the recoil of an atom that the dark matter particle will hit, a target atom. So that's what Drift tries to do, but what Drift does differently is as well as detecting the recoil, it tries to image the track left by a recoil. So you're imaging small tracks, and you look at those tracks and say where do they point to, and that tells you, hopefully, where the WIMP particle, where the dark matter particle would have come from. So the main practical challenges are firstly reducing background radiation, that's the same for all dark matter detectors, but particularly for drift, what we're trying to do is image very small tracks left by these dark matter particles. Uh, a dark matter particle will leave a track in drift of, of the order of two millimetres, and this is in a detector that's about a metre by a metre by a metre, and we've got to try and image those very, very small tracks, and, and that's one of the main challenges in drift. A directional detector gives you extra information, basically, and so um, when these detectors, when we're running them, if we get what we think to be a positive signal, if you can, as well as just getting that signal, if as well as that you can say where did that particle come from, or where did those particles come from, it gives you an extra piece of information that would really convince you that what you see really is uh, dark matter particles in the galaxy. <laughs>